What's up, Four C gang? Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Comedian Michael Allen, where we do cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktails. What? Don't judge me. Judge your motherfucking self. What up? What up, my Four C gang? What's going on? This is your boy, Cooking with Comedian Michael Allen. Oh, I just dropped something off my refrigerator. I'm hungover, but I'm hungry. I want to say this to you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much because y'all are looking at my videos. One of my videos, I got a hundred and some thousand. I mean, y'all are doing the damn thing. Y'all really, really like me. Okay, so look, this is what I'm going to do. I was downtown. I want to eat, right? But I had a pack of hamburger in my refrigerator. I said, you know what? Why spend money at Shake Shack or any of them restaurants when I cook better than that? I do. I like my own cooking. You know, some people have what they splurge with their money. Food is not one of the things, unless it's something that I can't cook. Okay, let me tell you another thing. Because I'm a little hungover from last night. I had a wonderful time. I put my hamburger on the plate. And I set it on my stove and I did my little cutting because I was cutting onions and peppers. And I hear something sizzling. I'm thinking it's raining because it just finished raining. It was my hamburger cooking on the plate. What? Don't judge me, judge y'all damn self. Okay, so anyway, look. I got some hamburger here. This is simple. I call this a ultimate hamburger. Now, some of the things I'm about to do to it, you may not have seen it. But trust and believe, try it. Y'all know your boy. So... I got this hamburger here, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna season it. I'm gonna put a little bit of seasoned salt, just a little bit, because I'm putting some. Um, the reason I'm putting a little bit because I'm putting um, coarse salt. So I'm just a, see that just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna put there. I want a tiny kick to it. I don't know what's been up with me in this. A kick of um, hotness. That's cayenne pepper, right? Okay, so now I'm going to put some coarse sea salt because I like that salt flavor. I like the salt taste. Do what works for you. You don't have to use both of them, but I am. You see that? I got that salt flavor. All right. Some garlic. So we're going to put this garlic. Yeah, I love a garlic burger. Now we're going to put a little bit of pepper. What, what I got? I gotta go get me. Some, I gotta go get some pepper, y'all. I don't think I have any pepper. Oh my God! Now if I stand up, I'm in my boxers because you know how it is when you get your up. Well, y'all can't see me. Okay, where's my pepper? Oh, here it go. Oh. Oh my God! I'm about to call. I'm about to sneeze. Okay. Somebody remind me to get pepper when I go shopping. Okay, we, I love a good peppery burger. Okay, we got pepper, right? I'm making two burgers. I, I think I'm going to make some fries, too. Okay. So, I'm going to put a little bit of adobo. I know you said, why did you put an adobo on your burger? Because I can. All right. Now, y'all know I got to put me some sesame in here. I'm not gonna use this whole pack, but I like the flavor. I really, really do. Y'all see that? Okay, we got that little flavor. That's some flavor for the flavor. Okay. Well, I had such a good time yesterday, you guys. All by myself. Not even hanging with nobody. Okay. Now, uh, we're gonna put a little bit of garlic. What, Michael, you putting garlic in your burger? I sure am. Because it's my motherfucking burger and I can do what I want. Okay. Can't nobody tell you what to do with your own shit. I bought the burger. I bought the hamburger. I'm the only one eating it. Oh, I got a good topic today, too, you guys. You know, I always talk about what I've been through. Okay? Now, I'm going to put peppers... And onions. I like a lot of onions in my burger. If you don't want onions, you don't want pepper, don't fucking do it. And no, I don't saute them. Y'all see that? See, look, look what we're doing here. Hold on, let me pull this down a little bit. See, I make my own shit and do my own thing. So now look, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to mix it all together. And you don't want to do too much mixing 
because you'll make your burger tough. So I'm just mixing all that flavor in there. Okay, see that? I'm just mixing it. I'm telling y'all, this is like the best burger ever. Okay, so that's enough of that mixer. Now, I'm gonna show y'all something. Y'all gonna be like, what the hell is Comedian Michael? He is hungry, but he done lost his goddamn mind. But a lot of people do. It's just a lot of people don't know about it. Okay, let me put them gloves there. So what I'm gonna do now, uh, I got two ingredients. And I don't care. Talk about, oh, is that a bee? I, I got my window open, you guys. I can't believe I allowed a bee to come in my house. So I got that. Oh, here's the other thing. So now let me put some more gloves on. Uh, how's everybody doing today? Well, I'll talk about y'all. Y'all know when I usually do my cooking video, I don't talk too much. I just try to tell you the steps. Okay. Oh. I don't know, I said I want some french fries, but I just want to go lay down, but I'm hungry. And I said, let me give my people a video. Y'all been showing your brother some love, baby. That's what I'm talking about, show some love. Okay, something just fell down my back. I don't know what it is. I think I got a ghost in my house. <laughs> if you don't put something somewhere and then you can't find it, you be like, what the hell happened? Okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make two hamburgers. Two hamburgers, I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna break these evenly. Why didn't I do that when I had the other gloves on? But oh well. Okay, you see that? Two nice, gigantic hamburgers with all the fixings in there. So what we're gonna do now is let's pick it up and make it, hold on, I gotta stand up. You wanna? You work the hamburger. Don't let that motherfucker hamburger work you. Okay. If this get the fuck out of here, bastard. Not today. Where's my flat squatter? Bastard. Okay. Now everybody always try to make their hamburger so pretty, right? Stop it. Okay. I gotta kill this. Let me close this one. Let me close my window. Look. He must have knew because he went right out that window when I closed it. Okay, y'all see that? I got two big old hamburgers, right? Oh, these are juicy. I'm gonna um, cut them out in a minute. But now look, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a hole in the middle of both of them. This is a hole. Let me take these, I'm glad I got a lot of gloves because y'all see I'm using them like hell. Okay, it's two things I'm about to do here. I'll, uh, um, matter of fact, I didn't even need this one. Okay. Oh, and it's going to be a bacon burger on top of it. Okay. So, let me show y'all what I'm about to do. What you going to do, what you really going to do. I'm going to be your lover. Okay. So, let me take this knife. Let me get a little bit of this. Now, you see, I got a, this is the government cheese, baby. Government cheese, I am putting that, watch how I do this. I'm putting the government cheese in the middle of there. Hold on, let me cover this government. And I don't really like cheeseburgers, but for today, I just, I want it. I want some fucking cheese because I got bacon. Okay. This is the government. Look, what y'all know about that? They're a lot smaller than what they used to be. Thank God I, I go to my mama's house and get hers. I said, Mom, give me that government cheese. Okay. Now, you see I put the cheese in there. Now, I'm putting a pat of butter in there as well. Maybe a teaspoon of butter. Y'all see that? What you doing, Mike? What you doing, Mike? I'm making me a motherfucking burger that... Okay, I shouldn't be cussing like that, but I can't help it. Don't judge me. Judge your damn self. Okay, so... Another pair of gloves. Let's put these on. I'm telling y'all, try this. It's another way you can do your burger, too. You put a little water in the pan, and you let your, oh, my God, let that burger steam. But we're going to go ahead and fry these one up. I'm not going to put no water. That's how my, my grandmother used to do. Okay. I don't know if y'all have ever seen this done, but there's videos out on it. Trust. There's videos out. 
what are you gonna do now, Michael? You got butter and cheese in there. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna press that down, and we're just gonna press it in the inside, okay? Look at that, oh, come on, somebody. We're gonna make that into a ball. Yeah, I like all my onions. And now I'm gonna make it into, oh, this is gonna be a deep burr. Oh, I made two of these bad babies, yes. Okay. And how many people know if you ever cook and you just put a whale in the middle of your burger, it helps your burger cook even better? I'm just saying if you want a little tip, tip from cooking with comedian Michael Allen. Okay, let me get this up now. So I, I should have had this burger. The only thing I'm mad about, I should have had a little cold. I had it sitting out. Then I fried it a little bit, not knowing. Okay. Come on. Oh, my God. Y'all, I don't think I need no fries because these two burgers alone is going to be enough. The two burgers are going to be enough. Okay. So, look. Let me take these gloves off. Put this pan. Y'all see that? That's the ultimate burger. I call it the ultimate burger. I'm telling you, the butter is going to make it taste good. The cheese is in there. You ain't got to put no cheese on top. Trust me. Let's do this. Peace. This your boy. I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all something. You see, I got the burger in there. Why is up my red? But look, I'm gonna put a little butter in here so it can go around the, around the burger. All of that's gonna soak into that burger. Y'all see that? And then look. Then I'm going to Cover that butter like that. Y'all see that? What it is. I'm going to cover it. And we're going to let it do its thing. I'll take this up and then I'll flip it over. You ain't never, you ever seen this technique? Come on, y'all. Learn something from me. Peace. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see what's going on with this burger. You see all that bur Look, you see that butter? This will make the burger. Y'all see how good that burger looks when you put that little thing over it? Look, it's doing its thing. You got cheese in the inside. Come on, y'all. This is what I'm talking about. Know how to cook. That cheese, look. I wish y'all could see that cheese in there. I'm not even going to show y'all yet. But y'all know that cheese and that butter is in the inside, right? This is the most flavorful burger you will ever eat. Hey, y'all. I take my, once I take my burgers out, y'all see how good them burgers look? Oh, my God. Look at it. I, um, oh, I just had to burn. Look, oh, girl. I put my, um, bread in them. So I, and I'll flip them over, and that's how I told them. <clears throat> and this is the consistency you want your bread at, the consistency. See that? Good old golden toasted bread. Now we get some good old bacon going in the same pan. Oh, we about to eat. Look at that cheese coming out. Look at that cheese. Yeah. Okay, when the sandwich is this good, you don't need no lettuce, no tomato, no nothing. All I'm putting on here is mayo and ketchup. Why? I'm telling you. You want the burger to be the star of the show. I love extra mayo, you guys. See how these are toasted? So good. Oh, look at that. I like extra mayo. My mother do too. Me and my mom are just alike. What? Don't judge me. Judge your damn self. Okay. So we're going to spread this mayo on thickly. You can do any kind of sauce you want for your burger. You can do the Elias Brother Thousand Island sauce. Well, you can do whatever you want to do, which ain't nothing but really ketchup and mayo. Okay, so I'm waiting on my bacon. I know y'all said that's a lot of mayo. You're damn right. I love it. Probably was a little too much on this one, but we'll put it on that one. Oh, my God. Don't tell look good. Yes, boo-boo. Y'all see that? Hamburg with cheese coming out of it, bacon. And all we're gonna do is, I don't want no lettuce, no nothing. I got mayo in my refrigerator, I mean, tomatoes and lettuce, but I'm not gonna do it. 
Does, oh, y'all think I can eat both of these? I don't know. We're going to show, try and see. Peace. What up, what up, what up, my 4C gang? Cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktail. Cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktail. Look. I'm hung over y'all. Y'all heard that in the first part of the video, but you know what? I said, let me bring my people, let me bring the 4C game for life a video. So what I did, I made me the ultimate hamburger. When I say it's the ultimate hamburger, you don't need no lettuce or no tomato. Just do what I did and watch how it take. Do what I did and watch what it do. And I also made me some french fries, some good old homemade cut french fries. Come on, y'all want to sit? Let's do that. Thumbnail, the ultimate burger, baby. Well, I always wear these glasses. Y'all know I don't like my glasses. Okay. So, I had to say my prayer. <coughs> I'm drinking a glass of milk. Y'all know when I'm hungover, I got to drink some milk. Of course, I always drink out of my sister, eat with Philly Bill. All purpose butter sauce. All you gotta do is just eat it and eat it. If y'all ain't ordered her sauce, baby, y'all missing out. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I've tasted a lot of sauce. That's the best one to me. Okay. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you. I thank you for getting me through the night safely until this morning, Father God. Oh, some bad things could have happened, but I know that you were already there before I got there, Father God. I thank you. You're always covering me. You're always protecting me. You're always making a way out of no way, Father God. I thank you for that. I thank you for this wonderful food I'm about to receive, Father God. I thank you I don't have a hangover this morning. Oh, Father God, I think I got an appetite. Oh, you're so good to me. Oh, Father God, and most important of all, the three things that I want to thank you for the most, my life, my mother, and my father. Oh, thank you that I still have them, Father God. And I'll thank you to the last breath of e either me or them. Oh, my God. Oh, ain't you been so good. New grace and mercies I see every day. And for that, I got to say thank you. In your son Jesus' name, amen. Oh, y'all know I'll go. <laughs> Come on, somebody. When ain't nobody else got you, Jesus got you. How about that? <clears throat> okay, y'all, I am really tired, but I'm going to do this video. They usually say when you're hungover, you, you take another drink, but I'd be I'd be right like this. Hey! Okay. Let's see this. Big old ultimate bacon burger. <laughs> what? <laughs> That burger. Oh, I can't even see. I need my. See, that's why I hate getting old because I can't see no more. Look at that. Look at all of that. The butter in there, the cheese in there, the garlic. Y'all see that? The bacon. Okay. Mmm. 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 I almost couldn't get my mouth around that. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all see that? Y'all. Mmm, 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 mmm. You know, a lot of people like their burger. I like my burger between medium and done. Some people like a medium rare. That's not me. I'm gonna see a little teeny pink, but not too much. Because you'll realize that's the juice. That juice, it holds. And I hate when somebody cook hamburgers and press down on them. Mm-mm. Mm. -mm. mm. Y'all know what y'all miss me. Ooh. Look, the pepper, the onion. Oh my God. This is really good. I ain't even frightened. 
knife, french fry, with some cracked black pepper on them. Well, I tell y'all, it's too bad. Mmm, there's something so good. Thank you, burger. Some green pepper. Onions, cheese, garlic. Mmm. And you have to toast the bread and the own juice and grease from the burger. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. You know, the devil really tried me today, y'all. I mean, the last week, I must say. But let me tell y'all that. How many people know the devil can't do no more than you allow him to? Mm. Hey, sis. Hi. What you say? Cooking and sipping in the kitchen. Tell them about your workout zone. Tell them about keeping it real with Philly Phil. Oh, girl, you you really gonna do that, Philly? You really gonna be on my channel and promote yourself? See, the only reason I'm doing YouTube. I would have never came over if I hadn't been for my sis. And I'm so glad, yeah. Hmm. So look, I was downtown. I was gonna do a video, but I didn't feel that. So I said, well, if I eat at a restaurant down here, I gotta do a video. So, but I kept thinking, Michael, you like your, old, your own food better than anybody else's, so why? It's hard for me to go out and to a restaurant. Because if I order some food that I know I can cook better, and I'm paying for it, oh, that pisses me off. Mm -mm. I'm not going to buy some shit and pay extra money for some stuff that I can do. See, when you're a cook, that's what you do. The fuck I'm going to buy some food that I cook better for and pay you? Once I try it once, I'm, pay I'm trying to patronize you. But if it's not good, then I'm down. I am Syria. So anyway, the devil been trying to come at me all sideways and from a different way. But you know what I say? Just my ass devil. <laughs> what? Don't judge me. God know what I'm saying. He already know me. I tell you how big and juicy. What was I thinking of cooking both of these burgers? I can't see nothing without my glasses. Can y'all do that? Oh. That bacon. It's something about hamburger and bacon, y'all. Mmm. I that bacon. And when you had this bread, toast. Just like this. Mmm. So look. I hear it spinning, y'all. So look, anyway. I'm on bacon and burger, damn it. I'm gonna tell y'all now, anywhere I would have went to buy this burger would not have tasted like this good at all. It might have been good. Mmm. Hey, I'm like food when it comes to my partners. I look at food and my partners the same damn way. Yes, I do. Some food and some partners can look good. <laughs> but they ain't no good. Come on, somebody. Some food and partners can be ugly as hell and be the best thing you ever taste. Come on, somebody. Mmm. Mmm, what is y'all? Do y'all know what my favorite food of all time is? I mean, 
thing as far as calling them out. Mm, two things. Bacon and grilled onions. Come on. Mmm. Okay, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna finish the other burger. I just was I'm gonna finish not on video, but I'm gonna finish. So anyway, this was my topic today. Is it hard in this day and age to meet somebody when you're in your fifties? It's a hard date in your fifties, getting to know somebody. You settled in your way. You really know what you want out of life. You ain't got time to play no games because you're on the second half of your life. And you learn some shit in the first half. But it's amazing. Mm. Mm. Let me tell this burger is giving me life right here. Hold on. I have to have a moment with this burger. Oh, how shiny now y'all tired. Oh, Jesus. Oh, stop me, stop my work time. Oh, no diggity, no doubt. Oh, Jesus, coming around Honda. Oh, untie your bow tie. Okay. Anyway. That's a good burger. Oh. I can't even talk this so fucking good. If I can find a partner just as good as this motherfucking hamburger, we'd stay together forever. And it's one thing that I would do to this hamburger and my partner. I would eat them both. <laughs> what? Don't judge me. Judge your damn self. But oh yeah. Food and sex is on the same level for me, I'm telling you. I can do either one or the other. Uh -huh. And now until I I probably choose food first. Now I know what y'all saying. Why do Michael he been drinking a lot of milk lately? You know why? Cause I heard milk does the body good. <laughs> no, I have a whole gallon. I don't want it to go to waste, so they didn't have any half gallons, so I said, you know what? I'm frugal, I don't like wasting nothing. Mmm. This is good news. Motherfucking life. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Bam. Okay. Mm. You know how you're so hungry and you want to eat something you can't? That's where I'm at. I don't smoke weed, but I smelt it. <laughs> With my mom, no. Mmm. Mmm. Why did I make this hamburger so big? I don't know. Mmm. But it's the heart. I'm so sleepy, y'all can tell. I try to get some rest, but it's hard when you lay next to somebody and your foot just like this. They always don't stop touching me. But anyway, it's a hard finding love and you're 50. People, you know what I've learned? That people still play games even when they're in their 50. They still play games. And when you're older, you're old enough to know, for example, me. I can tell in the first two minutes of the conversation whether you tell me I want to fuck with or not. We don't have time to play games. Time is ticking. For us that are single and looking, all you married people, I ain't mad at you. That's a beautiful thing. But I'm speaking for team single. Well, I hate saying team. I hate when they say team <coughs> single, and I can't believe I just said that because I hate I'm team single. When people say I'm team single, you know why you team single? Because it's only you. You have no choice but to be team single. Damn it! I'm team single. Yes, you are single. You know that. I'm good. 
I have been looking, trying to find, and trust me, don't get me twisted now, don't get it twisted. Oh my God, this fucking burger! Please, y'all, please try to do what I did. Please, you will not be disappointed. Oh my God, I can't even get in my story time because this motherfucker right here. I need a moment of silence just for the motherfucking burger. Mm, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you. Don't judge me. Judge yourself. Okay, see, I forgot where I was at. Oh, anyway. You don't have time for the games or nothing. We at the point where I'd rather be by my motherfucking self than be unhappy. That ain't what we'd rather be. We, we'd just rather be in a relationship. Call it what it is. But you know what? I'm excited. I'm excited about who God's going to put in the lineup, in the stars, and line up the stars for me and that person to meet. I got a couple of names. But they already married. But I'm hoping by the time I blow up, they'll be divorced. I'm not wishing to divorce on anybody. I'm just saying. Don't judge me. And I got secret fantasies of certain celebrities. A couple of them I worked with. Mm -hmm. A couple of them I had sex. I did. I had sex with. I had somebody to tell off of. Either that or get some hush hush money. Mm. I was hobnobbing with all of them. Every time we did a show, I would see them. I mean, certain people. Celebrities come on to meet you. One of my biggest things ever. Good Times was one of my favorite shows. And when Malona and Thelma, I was getting dressed after the show. I had met Thelma before the show. She was a friend of one of the cast members. She was a friend. Dexter Hammett, that was his name. So... He knew how much I loved her. So I went to his dressing room and I met her. I said, how you doing, Thelma? I mean, Bernadette. <laughs> so anyway, like I said, I was changing in my dressing room, man. Somebody knocked on my door. They was like, Michael Allen. I said, yes. They was like, um, Jeanette Du Bois want to meet you. I said, wait a minute, Jeanette Du Bois? Oh my God, that's Walona. And I went out and you know what I loved about Willow? She was so down to earth. She was like, boy, you stole the show. I was like, you did too. You the reason why I watched Good Time. Willow was the reason why I watched Good Time. It wasn't no JJ, it wasn't no Florida. It was Willow. And can y'all believe it? Listen to that. This is why I got time for no jokes and shit with people. I mean, not jokes, but wasting my motherfucking time. I know what God's going to take me. Yes, I cussed right before I said, God, who's going to judge me? Judge your damn self. So anyway, I was in Los Angeles on Wilshire Boulevard at the restaurant. As I'm sitting there looking across the table, here's Walona sitting next to me and her son and her husband and Mickey Howard and her little entourage. Angela Bofield, who's my sister, my baby, that's my girl. And Shanice Wilson's mama. And I'm looking, and they're telling me how much they, oh, I enjoyed you before. And they're going over what I didn't say and what I did in the play. I would have never thought at a young age when I was watching Good Time that I'd be the Met Wellona and we sitting there having dinner together. Rest in peace, Je Jeanette Dubois. Is it Jeanette Dubois or Jeanette Dubois? I think it's Jeanette Dubois. No, anyway, I say all that to say that when you old, when you of a certain age, been there, done that. You know, I've traveled. I've had a lot of sexual liaisons. What? I was, oh, they couldn't get enough of this. <laughs> Don't judge me, judge yourself. But I'm just saying, now in this day and age, if you're single, and everything happens for a reason, everything happens at an appointed time. 
But I, I say it to my, I know a lot of people that are single, successful single people, men and women. And they try to justify it. Not that it needs justification, but don't say, oh, I'm so super happy. We all want to be loved. We all want to be. Some people want to love multiple people, but they're still looking for love, right? Believe it or not, I'm not the aggressive one. I'm, I don't walk up to somebody and say, hey, you look good. You got to approach me. I come from a line of six sisters. I used to listen to them talking what they wanted in a man and what they didn't want in a man. And, you know what I mean? And I found out women want to be the ones chased. They don't want to be chased. They want to chase. All that, uh-uh, you better chase after me. Most women, they didn't want that. Because as soon as a nigga, they think a nigga don't want them, that's what makes them want the, the boy even more. Come on, y'all. Come on, man. We we hip to the game. Mm. So anyway, I want to get married. But I just don't want to have to be in a wheelchair when I get married. Because from the way this shit going, that's what it might seem. So I'm just trying to blow up. Meet me somebody that I'm very, very attracted. I have to be attracted to you. I have to. I tried to go with one ugly person one time. Oh, God. That was the worst. Oh. Just thinking about how they look. just And they my friend on Facebook. They knew I'm, you know you ugly motherfucker. I said, what was I thinking? I tried to file for um, Social Security for low self-esteem. They said, what's wrong with you? I said, look at this ugly motherfucker. I must have low self-esteem. Can I get some money? I'm making bad motherfucking decisions. <laughs> I'm making I don't care no more decisions. This ugly. Even when I go, wait. And the funny part about it, y'all. <laughs> and they were younger than me. When we broke up, which wasn't on good terms because we really still don't speak. But I see I looked on their page. Yes, I was I was not stalking, I was gawking. I wasn't stalking, I was gawking. Um, cause you know you look at your ex and want to make sure they doing worse than when they was with you. Just you know to have you make you feel better. And when I looked at the picture of them and their new friend hugged up, mmm, mmm. When I say ugly, uh, uh, I will post that person's picture, but I don't know that. And I don't have any qualms with the new person, but. If I ever met them, I'd be like, Sugar Gabriel, you show is ugly. Which, ooh, I did bring up Sugar Gabriel. Which, Sugar Gabriel also came and saw me in the play. Bam. Uh, people know me. They might not remember me, but they, they didn't saw me. <laughs> I tell you, look, I gotta go lay down because I'm just trying to babble and babble. Um, I'm gonna come with another video soon, too. Thank you, guys. Thank you. For, you know, my one video got 109,000 likes. Um, I'm at 3,500 subscribers. Y'all better do that. Do y'all hear me? And the, the comment, it's some bad ones. It's some bad ones. Y'all keep trying me, you bad comment motherfuckers. What did I tell y'all? Go look at my first video. My inch, my sister was like, you just gotta ignore it. No, I'm petty as hell. I will address, just like I addressed the good ones, I'm gonna address the bad ones with the hell. You gonna know, just say anything to me and I don't respond. Ain't nobody gonna kick my ass. What? But it be the, you know, I'm trying to be godlike a little bit. Oh, that's it a little bit. I'm just trying to be godlike. So if you come for me, I'm coming for you though. And that's coming out the kindness of my heart. I'm gonna lay your ass out with this mouth, with these words. And, you know, I, I went off on old boy so bad. He erased the whole damn. <laughs> Comment column because I got him so good. I said, this is what I do, man. We could do this all day. Oh, what was it? What did he say to me, y'all? My name should be um, Sweet Sweetness or something. He said, this nigga got more sugar than Kool-Aid. I mean, cotton candy. He's sweeter than cotton candy. First of all, oh boy, how do you know how sweet I am? 
And why you been, why you so heavy lurking? Oh, who was that? What was his name? Something Swift. Oh my God, I got his ass together. I ain't heard nothing before. And my thing is this. If, who, whatever anybody do, how does that affect your life? I don't give a care if somebody was sleeping with a rabbit in the yard. It does not affect my life. I might not eat no more East Day. Do they come from rabbits? But no, I, I, it trips me out when people, oh, he sound this or he act like this or he, I don't know you. Why is that such a concern? Why does it bother? Because don't shit bother me. But my back every now and then when I, oh, okay, I gotta, I gotta go because I'm still on. <laughs> if y'all knew what I was about to say, the only reason I didn't say it because I thought about my mama. She was like, no, the fuck you didn't say some shit like that. Don't I look sleepy, y'all? I am so sleepy. Okay, 4C game for life. What we doing? Cooking, timing, culture, cocktail. Ring the bell. Do it. See, I, I, I supposed to do the bell last, don't I? Ring that damn bell. How about that? Like, subscribe, and comment, and share. Want to fry? Anybody want to fry? Who want to fry? All right, y'all. I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to eat the rest of this later. I'm going to lay my ass down. I have to call my mom and daddy first, though. Look, I call my daddy. Now, I talk to my mama every single day. Several times a day. My daddy won't call me. I have to call him. And this is what I hate telling. I hate telling my mama anything that I feel about my daddy because she will go tell him. And she told my daddy, she said, yeah. She said, that boy said, that's what they call me, that boy. I'm your only motherfucker, both of y'all only son, and y'all gonna call me that boy? I just thought about that, Sarah. Well, anyway, I was telling her he never calls me, and I'm pissed about it. She tells, you know, you know that boy mad at you because he said you never called him. He said, hell, I ain't never called him. So what is he tripping for now? My dad don't even talk like that. I think he's getting uh, a little forgetful. Now, my daddy be 76 this year. Yeah. Yeah, because he's five years older than my mama. When I was born, my mama was 19 and my daddy was 24. My mama had already. Okay, I'm talking too much. She's going to cuss me. All right, y'all, this is Comedian Mike Wilder. Let me go lay down. My mind is going. I am tired, but I'm elated. I'm happy. Because y'all have been doing a damn thing with your boy. Your boy, Comedian Mike Wilder. We do cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktails. Cooking, comedy, cussing, and cocktails. 4C. A game for life, baby. Look, if this is your first time here, like I said, subscribe and do all that. And welcome. Welcome to our 4C game. But we love you. But we don't love you more than we love our motherfucking self. All right, this is your boy, Comedian Michael Allen. I'm going to go lay down. I'm out. Peace.